I'm Marlana, and lately I've been thinking about one of my favorite autumn opportunities for playing and learning with your little one. As it gets colder, you'll be bringing out sweaters and jackets, and if they're not out already, some costumes. Oh boy! Recently, I came across some costumes I made for my kids when they were little. They were the cutest little mice. And those are great memories. I remember them wearing their costumes all year long and playing with their friends. It wasn't unusual for me to find a mouse and a Buzz Lightyear and a couple of flying unicorns running around my backyard. Or even as I was running errands around town. And even today, if Spider-Man or Anna and Elsa come to visit the library, my coworkers and I love to say hello. When children put on a costume, something magical happens. Their imagination runs wild. They experiment with new identities. Can I be the mom? I'll be the teacher. And they practice situations they might not be familiar with, like going to the doctor or the first day of school or eating in a restaurant. Imaginative play fosters communication problem solving, self-regulation, because it requires teamwork and cooperation and impulse control. Imaginative play also encourages empathy and sharing and manners and taking turns and it helps develop working memory. Managing things like zippers and buttons and snaps is fine motor control and just getting your leg in the right side of the pants or your shoes on the right foot is good practice. Some of the best co costumes are improvised from old clothing and everyday objects and your child's imagination because it allows your child to choose what an item is or how to use it. For instance, is an old jacket a doctor's coat or a veterinarian's coat or a fireman's coat? And is that green piece of fabric a lily pad for your frog to jump on or is it green grass for the cows to graze? Let's see some good items to have if you've got them in your play area. Scarves, they can become long luxurious hair for your princess or, and you know what's coming, a colander makes a great helmet for your space explorer or your deep sea diver. You might want to include some old glasses. You could pop the lenses out for safety. And be sure and include stuffed animals for their imaginative play. Include some blankets for pillow forts and towels for superhero capes, hats, mittens, and gloves. Again, good practice putting them on. Use old purses, and bags, and briefcases costume jewelry. Clean empty food containers are great for their imagination and child safe plastic dishes as well as large cardboard boxes, something they can climb into which can become a boat or a car or a building and a smaller cardboard box might become a baby bed or a pet carrier or a microwave. Dressing up doesn't have to be expensive either. You can find costumes at garage sales and thrift stores or buy them on clearance the day after Halloween. And try not to be embarrassed when your children want to wear their costumes in public. You'll soon find that most adults are happy to play along at your adorable princess or teenage mutant ninja turtle. So from hats and scarves to tutus and tights, there are many ways that your child can engage in dress up play. So let your little one wear their costume frequently. It teaches them to express themselves, learning so much along the way. And remember to bring your camera because someday you'll be glad you did.